Hello everyone, and welcome to some more horrific news. Okay, we've got a bit of a random interview here with Nicolas Cage. Obviously, the hype at the moment is Long Legs. Well, I enjoyed it. I reviewed it there a day or two ago. Well worth the watch. It can be a bit confusing, but it's part of the plot, I think. I think the whole plot comes from the perspective of the unreliable narrator. So there are a few things going on. I'll need to watch it again. It's definitely one of them movies that you watch a couple of times just to pick out all the pieces, you know, the clues. But yeah, on a whole, I enjoyed it. But <laughs> anyone thinking they're going to get Long Legs 2, I'm afraid they're going to be disappointed. Let's have a look at it. Nicholas Cage says he won't play another serial killer after Long Legs. I don't like violence. Despite starring as Dracula in Vampire's Kiss and Renfield, the actor doesn't want any more bloodshed on screen. There's a reason why Nicholas Cage's serial killer character was hidden by the Long Legs trailers. Turns out he is just that scary. And Cage insists it will be a sole serial killer role. Cage stars as a titular occult serial killer in Osgood Perkins' Long Legs, which has critically been deemed one of the greatest serial killer films to date, even drawing comparisons to the Academy Award winning Silence of the Lambs. Which I think's a bit of misdirection. I would say it's closer to Seven, Zodiac Killer, those sort of movies. Uh, Triangle's another one. I just think because... Uh... <laughs> the FBI agent and this is a female and he's a serial killer and have one interview I think it's just the mainstream media being stupid as always and they probably haven't even watched the movie to be honest I don't see like I said most tenuous of links compared to the Sands of the Lambs it's just a completely different movie which is fair enough that's not saying one's better than the other etc etc Sands of the Lambs is absolutely fantastic but yeah it's just name dropping and silliness of the media anyway <laughs> enough of that let's crack on yeah cage won't be playing that kind of killer ever again as he told the new yorker i know the phone's going to be ringing off the hook to play serial killers after long legs and that's not really what i like to do cage said i don't like violence i don't want to play people who are hurting people in the film cage plays a satanic serial killer who's being investigated by an fbi agent the feature has personal ties to both cage and writer director perkins he told indy wire the film is inspired by both their respective parents instead cage wants to lean into what he finds actually terrifying tv the actor will make his tv debut with upcoming Coming Prime video series Noir is also preparing for the eight episode limited series The Carpenter's Son. Television is terrifying because you've only so much time to get the libido in your body and you have to keep going, keep going, keep shooting and I thought that's challenging. I'm afraid of it. I've never prepared like that before, he had said. He added, I'm a little behind the curve in this next one I'm doing called The Carpenter's Son but I get on the elliptical in the morning. I start reading the script from the front to the back and then I reverse it and I read it from the back to the front and then I take the biggest, or should I say, the most dialogue intense scenes and get them off the plate first so they're in my body. The problem is I have with it though is I'm carrying all that around in my head for two months, going through it every day, so that by the time I get on the set I'm not thinking about it, I'm just flowing, but that's a lot of memory retention every day for two months, never however long the movie takes. It's yeoman's work. Cage continued that the series will be the equivalent of four movies in five months in terms of production. And I've got another movie I've got to prepare for, and then a movie right after it, and it's another character that does not look like me, Cage said, adding the character as a nebbishy guy and a nerd, much like his role in the dream scenario. And that is it. Yeah, one thing you say about Cage is he's not typecast, like he's played an absolute variety of roles, from Hollywood blockbusters to strange indie movies that people probably haven't even heard of. Like, the man is a workhorse, there's no doubt about it. He's actually one of the few Hollywood actors I have respect for, because he does actually put the time and effort in. Don't think Long Legs needs a sequel anyway, but I don't think he wants to get typecast playing the same role about six times. I think that's one thing he's been very clever about. Like, he could have played his agent character in The Rock a hundred times, you know, and just dialed it in. You see a lot of, like, the big Hollywood stars that do that, they play the one character in the just do it their whole career. Cage has always stepped away from that, so fair play to him. I can see this movie being more intense. Like the violence was, there wasn't a lot of it, but when it did appear, it was visceral and it's completely different to what he's done before. I don't think he's played anything to that intensity, so I can maybe see why he doesn't want to do it again. And a lot of stuff, uh, like talking about The Rock, for example, is cartoon violence, so is Renfield. Vampire's Kiss, God, I have not seen that in years. Um, that was almost like a, a mental health, you know, it was a guy who thought he was Dracula, he wasn't actually Dracula. I need to revisit it, I can't quote anything because it, yeah, it's not even in the memory banks at the moment. But yeah, I would say this is one of his more intense roles. Maybe it's said a pig, yeah, but I can understand plays on the guest maybe and the way he acts might have affected him a bit, not wanting to do it again. But there you go, what do you think? Do you think it's fair enough? Are you disappointed? Does he need to do another role like this? Or is that it? You know, he just cries off as he does and creates interesting movies. Anyway, there you go. Let me know what you think. And until next time, keep up the end of the channel. Do the time thinking things. And remember to keep it creepy. Keep it horrific.